Today we're talking winter camping. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot one thing. Give me a second. Yeah. Okay. Now we're good. Okay, so this coming weekend, Brandon and I are going on a hot tent trip. Um, it's going to be the two of us and we have guests coming as well. But basically I just wanted to kind of walk you guys through my process of packing and kind of figuring out what type of gear I'm going to bring. And so while I'm figuring that out, I thought I'd just kind of share that with you guys and uh, maybe this will be helpful for some of you. Okay, so the very first thing that we like to consider, and considering we're only a week away from this, we can check, is the weather. Uh, what's the temperature going to be like and what's the weather going to be like. The weather for this coming hot tent trip is looking pretty easy. Uh, we're looking at about minus 3 in the daytime high and about minus 10 to minus 15 uh, for the nighttime low. We're only going for one night and two days. The second thing to consider is location. The ability to set up your tent, like have enough room. Is it flat enough? Um, I would say like a close number two, if not right on par with number one, is considering water. Are you going to be camping near a lake? Are you camping near a stream, somewhere you can easily access water um, to be able to boil and use for drinking and cooking? And number three, if you can't, uh, is there enough snow on the ground to be able to accomplish all of that? Boiling snow is a huge pain in the butt. I know it seems like it's very simple, but it's not. Um, it's a lot of work and it takes a long time and you kind of have to babysit it if you're going to have enough water to drink and use for cooking. So, And if you have none of those, uh, then you're packing in water, which sucks. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever done that. Other than that, like what kind of woods are you going into? Uh, I have some friends who live way up north and they don't have hardwoods like maples and birches and stuff to burn. So they're dealing with mainly jack pines and stuff that's really crappy to burn. So, you know, you want to consider your tools. Um, when I'm winter camping, I'm always bringing an ax. I'm always bringing a full size ax unless Unless I know I have a really small setup and I can get away with a hatchet. Um, winter time is no time to mess around and skimp on some important gear. Uh, so I bring a, now I say full, full size axe. This is a 26 inch forest axe. Um, gives me a good swing. It's pretty much exactly what I need for winter. Another tool that's very handy is a shovel. You can bring a bigger one than this. This is just uh, a nice little pack shovel that I like to bring. It's a little more work if you're dealing with a lot of snow, um, but if you're not, it's just really handy to use when you're out there. Obviously, you're going to want to cut wood as well, and you're not going to want to use an axe to buck all that up because it takes a long time. Um, so I usually bring either a handsaw or depending where I'm going, we'll bring a little chainsaw, um, just depending on the situation and what we're doing and how much wood we think we're going to need to process. So next thing to consider is what kind of hot tent you're going to bring or what kind of cold tent you're going to bring. Um, obviously if you're cold tenting things get a lot easier in terms of setup. You don't need a big footprint and you don't need to worry about wood, um, but what you do need to worry about is keeping yourself dry and warm and managing your sweat, which is probably the biggest issue when you're winter camping, um, in order to stay dry. So good base layers and things like that. I do break down my kind of ways to dress in the winter and keep warm. I'll leave a link up here. Or here. And you guys can go watch that video and check out kind of what I wear uh, in terms of clothing to keep warm for winter camping or winter adventures. Um, kind of all applies. I have a few types of setups I guess you could say. Sometimes I go out with just a tarp. Sometimes when you're just using a tarp it's nice to be able to just have a fire going right out in front of you. You don't need to bring a stove or anything like that and if you're really ambitious you can cut up enough wood to keep yourself warm with just an open fire throughout the night. For this trip in particular we're going to be bringing this big guy and this big guy is a hefty tent. It weighs a lot and the stove we bring with it is also hefty and weighs a lot. Um, so things to consider is basically your location getting that in there. We've got some great pulks and stuff. A pulk is like basically a toboggan. You put all your gear in, tie it down. A new thing we're trying out as far as setup is we just got these cots. If you guys have been watching my channel at all for any amount of time, you know that I do not like bringing a lot of gear. But that being said, I have been trying to expand my types of camping trips overall. 
Um, so I do a lot of lightweight stuff. I do a lot of minimalist type trips. Um, but I don't do a lot of glamping. And so this, this year Brandon and I kind of uh, sprung for some more glamping style winter camping, you could say. And yeah, these cots are part of the part of the kit that we're going to start trying out and uh, it's very heavy so it takes like this is not something we're lugging like multiple kilometers into the bush by any means um, but for a nice easy kind of way to just get out into nature and be comfortable and be able to explore and enjoy and relax then I don't know we're gonna try it out. So another new thing I'm trying out for winter camping is actually bringing like something that has a bit of structure to be able to like either eat off of or play cards on or like set things on. I think that would be super handy. Um, so this Rux box is something I'm trying out. It's like kind of lightweight and keeps everything really contained. It makes it easy to pack, which I really like. Um, so I'll just quickly go over what I've got in there. So first up, I got my buck saw, oil skin tarps and stuff from ground mat. Um, Next up, I've got a chair. That's going to be super handy. Um, and I've got my Thermarest Neo Air, which is really warm. On this side, I've got just my gloves. This is part of my layering system that I really like and that really works for me. And it's also extremely cheap. So I've got just these normal little cotton gloves, which normally cotton's not great right on your skin, but these work and they're cheap. Uh, a merino wool alternative would be way better, but this is what I have. And then these are just gloves that I got literally from Giant Tiger for $10. They're just like a split leather glove, super cheap. And when you layer these up, they are so, so warm. And when I'm working a camera and stuff, you know, I, I like to have my, my warm layer on and then if I need to work the camera, boom, just slip that off, do kind of more things with the camera and as soon as I get cold, just pop these right back on. They're really nice. So that's, I find a great system that I have. Um, next up, I got a wool toque, a wool buff. I've got some odds and ends, uh, fire steel knife. Um, what else? I think I've got some cordage in here and things like that. Um, next up, I like to have just kind of a dedicated water boiling system. Uh, so for this trip, it's gonna be the Kessel pot. It's titanium. It's made by Uber Leben. I'll have all links down below, by the way, to all this gear um, in case you guys are interested. And none of them are going to be affiliate links. I'm, I am done with affiliate links. Um, I don't think Amazon is true to what their commissions actually are. And it just doesn't make any sense for me to promote any of that. So none of this I'm getting money for. If you go down and search the links, it is purely out of providing information for you and nothing for me. If you do want to support me at all, a lot of these companies actually sent me this gear. So that would be the only way um, that really it helps me out is if you want to mention that, you know, you heard this from my channel and uh, you're grateful for the information, I guess, if you end up buying this, this type of stuff. So um, this is a little candle lantern. I really like the aesthetic of it. Uh, maybe just before you go to bed, just to have a little bit of lighting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just really like it. Sometimes you bring gear that you just really like, even though it's not super practical. All right, so next up I've got a med kit. I actually sprung for a very decent one this time. Uh, Cabela's has like a good lineup of these and they're made for like wilderness trekking. And I won't go into detail too much, but I will in a future video probably. Um, about the med kit. I've got like the big boy version of this and uh, But there's the little one perfect for two people or three Toilet paper in a sea to summit dry bag must have easy access And the last thing I have in here is a cook kit This one is a titanium cook kit by silver ant. And I don't normally bring stuff this big This is just a toque's um, plate, titanium plate. It's really beat up. I just kind of toss it in there because it's easy. Uh, but this cook kit comes with a titanium frying pan and a nice big titanium cook pot, little handles, and 
in there I've just got some titanium utensils and that's all I really cook with. We'll probably end up bringing a cast iron pan on this as well. Lastly in here, some hand warmers. Um, I mainly use these to keep my batteries warm, but if you're in a pinch and you've got some cold hands or some cold feet and you're really struggling to warm them back up, I mean, you have a hot tent so you should be fine, but if you're out trekking around and stuff and exploring, um, I always bring a couple of these just in case. We're also trying out these new walkie talkies, which the brand is actually Rocky Talkie. And uh, they're super rugged and they go pretty far and the battery lasts like crazy good and they're super clear. So I've been trying those out. Um, I forget they would be handy in situations like this where you're kind of camping with other people and if somebody goes out and gets wood or something like that and you're only like a couple kilometers away at the most, um, now this would be a super easy way to kind of keep in touch with everybody at camp. So yeah, that and I also have a GPS coming in the mail that I look forward to showing you guys. Um, I've never had a dedicated GPS before, but this one will have um, like a personal locator beacon with it as well. And also the ability to communicate uh, two-way messaging and stuff. So. That's going to be something I'm going to be trying out that's kind of new to me that I've never had before. Um, and it'll actually have like maps and stuff, like actual GPS capabilities. So that's going to be interesting. Alright, so one of the last things I'll probably talk about is that I do normally pack a backpack. Even though we're bringing in sleds like these, um, the backpack is just kind of something you can keep on you that you don't keep anything super heavy in. but. It just helps pack more gear, really. Because <laughs> sometimes you can't fit everything in the sleds. and uh, So I like to put the light stuff in here. Or stuff that I want to kind of access quickly. And stuff, so like in here I've got a water bottle. Before you go to bed, you fill this up with hot water. You stick it in your sleeping bag to warm it up. You just snuggle with this all night. If you've got cold spots, stick it where the cold spots in. If it's your kidneys, if it's your feet, put it down at your feet. It's like the best thing ever. And it stays warm right till morning. It's amazing. Got some extra mitts. I just have a sit pad and my sleeping bag is in here. My sleeping bag is a negative 12 Celsius down bag from Wilderness Excursions. I guess all I have left in here is just my Leatherman. Uh, a good multi-tool is really handy. If you ever need to fix something or um, grabbing pots and stuff off the stove or anything really, like it's just really handy to have something like this. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, if I missed anything, just let me know down in the comments. I'll try to answer uh, things that kind of pertain to this. So that's it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it added value to your life. And stay tuned for our hot tent trip because it's coming up soon. And we'll bring you guys along. So thank you. See you in the next one.